Think back to the last time you got everything you wanted. What were the circumstances leading up to that event? When you finally beat the last level of your favorite video game? When you sampled everything at the buffet and ate as much as you desired? When you finally got the car with every option you craved? The turbo, the sunroof, the premium sound system? Your dream job. Look back from where you are now. It felt great to beat the last level of the game until you realized that you blew an entire weekend sitting on the couch in your basement. It was kind of fun to stuff your face at the buffet until you realized the food was subpar and you ate way too much of it. Once the novelty of all the bells and whistles on the new car wore off, you began to wonder if the sunroof was worth it in the middle of winter. And all those high-tech toys are either too complicated to understand or always bringing you back to the dealer for service. And four months into your dream job, which you may still like, or perhaps you can't afford to quit, you begin to see the cracks in the facade you never noticed before. Rather than letting this fact of life depress you, see it for what it really is and what it really means, and then let it help free you. Getting everything you wanted is grossly overrated. Focus on getting everything you want, and you'll never get everything you want. There will always be more. There will always be something better, or at least something else. Science and philosophy suggest that wants are hardwired into us, and I believe that. It explains why, despite the fact that all of my basic physical needs, oxygen, food, water, clothing, shelter, and sleep, all of those are met, and yet I still want to fly to Hawaii first class. Now, there are other human needs that go beyond basic survival. Regardless of which school of thought you follow, most people, whether they are professional psychologists or not, would agree that our basic psychological needs include things like freedom, security, variety, love, and growth. But even my psychological needs don't compel me to fly first class to Hawaii. By now you're probably thinking that this is a video about lowering your expectations, just letting go. It's not. I had to start out by distinguishing wants from needs, because if you fixate on getting what you want in your divorce, you are all but guaranteed to be disappointed. It is a settlement, after all, and by definition, a settlement is a way of reaching agreement in which each party gives up something that was wanted and or on terms that are worse than desired. Only short of unconditional surrender might a settlement totally satisfy you. So why settle? Sometimes you settle when you value ending the fight more than what you were fighting over. Sometimes you settle when you believe continuing the fight will ruin what you were fighting for. Either way, you settle when and because the fight clarifies for you what you really want above all else.